Hey there, Nick Dudenhackis here. In this video, we're gonna go over the implications of piping the output of echo into base64 in case you wanted to encode and decode values on the command line. So the takeaway spoiler alert here is that the echo command is actually going to add a trailing new line to the end of your string, which could be confusing or misleading, especially based on the output that we see here. If your other program that you might be taking this token into expects there not to be a new line at the end. So let's go over some examples here and we'll just see how it works. So if you run the echo command here, that is just going to echo hello world, but you can pipe this into base64. And this is going to give us a base64 encoded string of hello world. This is not encryption or hashing. Basically, it's just a way to take a string and base64 encode it, and you get something like this back. It could be really useful, especially if you have, you know, a really long string with a lot of line breaks or whatever. You can just condense that down into a string like this. And if we do echo now and we take the string, then we can also do the reverse of that. We can, we can go base64 decode that, and then we get back hello world. Now, if you didn't know anything else about the command line and you just took a look at this, you would think like, okay, cool, I'm echoing hello world, and that's the value when I base64 encode it, and then if I take that value there and base64 decode it, we get hello world back. It's very hard to tell just from looking at that that there's actually a trailing slash n here and we just don't see that. So for example, if you had a, an application that we were using a base64 encoded value and you took this exact value here and tried to use it expecting hello world, it's not going to match because uh, we'll see very soon that is not the case here. So echo has a flag called dash n, which is not going to add a new line at the end by default. And then we can see here when we run it that we don't see necessarily the same exact output. There is a colored up percent sign here. And by the way, if you wanted to use printf instead, this is going to produce the same thing. And uh, printf, printf is basically, you know, what you see is what you get. If you want a new line, you have to add the, you know, slash n there if you want at the end. But the takeaway here is, yeah, this is not like a, you know, normal percent sign character that's like part of the string. This is just basically saying that, hey, by the way, you have an unterminated line. Basically, you have a line here with not a line break at the end, and uh, your terminal typically displays that slightly different than regular text, right? It's not guaranteed depending on your theme, et cetera, but normally you would see this in a way that lets you differentiate that it's not actually part of like a percent sign in, this, in the actual string like this. Um, yeah, so uh, actually that wouldn't work with echo or printf there, but in this case we can see that, you know, there's a little, literal percent sign and then the other percent sign. But takeaway here is, let's say that we use echo-n uh, here and we do hello world and we base64 encode that. And we do the same thing for echo here, just so it's a little bit easier to see both of these side by side. We can see that the values are different. They all start the same here, but the very end here, uh, without the new line, we get the equal sign, but with the new line there, you get K. So if we were to um, base64 decode this one here, then we would see that it is going to resolve back to the one without the new line. And uh, yeah, this happened to me recently where we had an application that will do both base64 encoding and decoding at the application layer. And I just wanted to generate a base64 encoded token really quickly so I can just pop it in, pop it in somewhere for testing. And needless to say, yep, I generated my token like this and there was a new line at the end, but it didn't match server side. So yeah, it was uh, quite the adventure to figure out what was out going to figure out what was going on there. Now, you know, it's one of those things where like you sort of do know that Echo does add a new line at the end, but when you're looking at something, you're like, damn, like it works exactly this way over here, but not over there. Uh, yeah, it just took some uh, reverse engineering there to figure out like, oh yeah, there's actually a new line there. So yeah, short video, another takeaway there, just be careful on the command line if you're base64 encoding and decoding things. If you're using the Echo command, you might want to use printf there, or, you know, at the very least, uh, echo-n. Me personally, I probably would just end up using printf there, mainly because, I don't know, in my mind, I always associate, it's like, okay, if I'm using printf, I know like, you know, what you see is what you get. If I wanted to have a new line there with, with um, printf, then I can just do slash n there at the end. You know, if I wanted to, you know, drop a couple of new lines in the front as well, you can do that as well. So yeah, I'd probably just use printf there in that case. Um, if I were ever going to be 64 in token. But with that said, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think here. Has something like this ever bitten you in the past or maybe something similar? I can make potentially a future video about that. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.